Hey, in this video, we're going to uh, go over how to administer uh, people or users uh, slash members on the website. So we'll want to go to the People tab. And in here, we have our full list of users on the site. So we have administrators mixed in with members. We can see when they last accessed the site, how long they've been a member for. And just like in the content, you do we have these filters. So we can say, just show me members. Uh, we can say, show me somebody who has <clears throat> permissions to do a certain thing on the website, or show me people that are active or people that are blocked. So blocked users uh, aren't able to log into their accounts. Their accounts are still there and their content is still there. Uh, but they're not able to log in. So you may have, say you have a member who um, is maybe putting in some content that should have been in a different section or something like that, and you just want to temporarily block them till, you, till you're able to explain a few things or whatever, you can kind of come in, select them, and just block the user. And do an update, and away you go. If you want to edit a user, you just click the Edit. And you see their username, their email address, you can change their password. Uh, you shouldn't have to set anybody's password because everybody has the ability to go to the login page and there is that reset your password option. So as long as their email address is correct, um, then they'll be able to do that and they'll get an email that gives them a link. You don't want to set any members to be uh, administrators, of course, because then they'll be able to do all kinds of stuff on the site. And you can set people's pictures here. Uh, with their logos or an actual face picture, or you can set them up to use uh, Gravatar, and you can kind of click through that link to learn what Gravatar is all about. So on track as well, you can click track on any user, and you can see what content that user has entered. So if you to create a new user, you again, you want to go start back at the People tab, and we have Add User here. And so you just fill out their information, and we have the roles, so if it's a new member, um, you just simply check off member, notify user of account, they'll get an email that will actually give them a, a one-time login link. You can set their password uh, to something. They will see this password come through in the email, uh, so you want to make sure you're careful what you're actually setting it to, but advise them that the email is coming perhaps and let them know that when they log in with that login link, they should absolutely change their password uh, to something that's secure. And that's it for user administration. 